Okay, it's recording? Yes, it is. Hello, bye, my name is Regular Gamer Alex, and the video you're about to watch was one that I actually streamed on my Twitch channel, which I am hi on hiatus from at the moment due to some network issues I have with my Wi Fi over here. So, while I am on hiatus, this video you're about to watch was an edit down version of some of the streams I played. I do hope you guys will still watch this video, and if you guys do want to watch the full hour to two hour streams, then go check out the Twitch channel I have, which is going to be down in the description down below. But I hope you'll enjoy the video, whether you guys choose to watch the more edited down versions on here, or the full hour long streams on the Twitch. Either way, I hope you guys will enjoy the video. Have fun. Yes. Hello everybody, my name is Horror Gamer Alex, and today we're playing one of the most popular horror games out there, Outlast. So if you guys don't know much about Outlast, well then you're about the same boat as me. I know little bits and bits, not too much. Because I have played a little bit of Outlast, I've played like maybe an hour and a half maybe of Outlast. That's about it, I got to the part where you're in the sewers with the big guy, the big... Guy, I think his name is Chris. I think that was his name. Yeah, I got about there, then I kind of got preoccupied with another game at the time, I think. Yeah. So, but this time, I'm playing this game from beginning to end on here. I feel like this would be the perfect game to do it. If I can actually get to the game. Uh-huh. What is going on here? There we go. Oh yes, also I do have the DLC whistle whist, whistleblower. I can't speak, jeez, already. I'm a minute and 15 seconds into the stream, I already can't speak. How is, okay, how is it already on one slow frames over here on the studio? Screw it, I'm just gonna go straight into the game. Normal, hard, nightmare, insane. So... The thing is, my stealth skills are about as good as that of, let's see, have you guys ever played Sly Cooper? <laughs> Screwed, I'm gonna go with normal and hope I can at least get past that. So, Atlas contains intense violence, gore, graphics, sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. You're Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on earth. Hmm. Always willing to risk digging into his stories, no other journalist would dare investigate. And that's his mistake. You will seek out the dark secrets at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can, record everything. You are not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. Well, let's see, I'm bad at hiding, so run or die. Well, we guys ready to die? <laughs> Whew. What are, has, has there actually been any like reporters who have actually gone like this far just to try and get a story? Department of Agriculture Commissioner Salazar said changing weather patterns were to blame for the livestock behavior. Encourage ranchers and breeders to attend this week. Give me a second. I'm trying to trying to change a few things on this. No, wait. Okay. There we go. What the? Why is it on free slow frames? What? What is? Uh, that is annoying. I don't. I don't know how to solve that. As long as it stays in the green, everything should be okay. But if it gets to the yellow, I'm gonna be kind of mad. Cause the CPU is on green. I don't know why the slow frames are going up. Yes. Mount Massive Asylum. Yeah, cause this is gonna go well at all. Hmm. 
Oh, I should probably go ahead and mention that. Uh, today is going to be very big. Oh, uh, let me read this. Uh, tip illegal activity at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems. You don't know me. Have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems facility, Mount Massive. Ugh. All sorts of NDAs I'm very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happening here, fair. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talk about dream therapy going too deep. Finding something that happened, wait for them in the mountain. People are being hurt, and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. So like I was trying to say, uh, today's going to be, I'm going to be doing three streams today. This one from 2 to 4, another one at 4.15 to 5.45, which is me playing a game called The Beast Inside. And then at 8 o'clock, I'm going to be doing a stream of me playing Inscription. Some more Inscription, because that game is fun. And I'm still very curious on its story. But for now, let us... I remember a little bits and bits of probably this beginning part. Get, get, get in there. Miles, come on. Wait, there isn't even really anything here. You know, I feel like there should be a guard at the station. That doesn't even make sense. So, from what I remember, yeah. I'm core quarter. F does the that. Okay, I remember bits and bits. How's they feeling look on you guys' side? Hope you guys can hear anything for those who will be joining in later on. Since this is a two hour stream. Okay. I remember this much. Ladder up to there. But once you get to like the stealth part, that's gonna be when it gets harder, because I am very, very bad at stealth. I am completely terrible at stealth. <gasps> if you guys have watched my YouTube channel, uh, I played a few stealth games on there, such as uh, White Day Leopard Game School, Alien Isolation, and Amnesia Dark Descent. Those kinds of stealth focused horror games. And I was not good at them. <laughs> I've never been good at stealth. That's just how I've always been when it comes to games. I'm more of the person just running with the weapon and just shoot anything I I don't remember that, but okay. Always hold. Freeze through, move towards gap. Yeah, I remember this part. I think there's a, yep, battery. Is there also like a folder in here? Or is that one up for rooms? Patrick something. Yeah, I still can't believe Miles. My man Miles, he sees V's. He sees bullet holes, blood splatter, and yet he's still just like, let's continue on. Yeah, because this is what we all would do. Instead of running away, I'll be out this window so quick. A broken leg is nothing compared to whatever be going on here. Ah, oh boy. These reading, reading these things are a bit much. Ancient initials, the billet. Patients need to have progress, self-directed lucid dream status, states. States, I mean. Ugh, I can't speak. Morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale. Continuing stage for home hormone schedule. Spirometry revealed no bronchial accumulation. I, I can't even say that word. Centrifuge again failed to separate. Man, he's like trying to read the medicine bottles. Highly worrisome. MRI revealed after norm states. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff and his son. This represents a catastrophic breach in security. Despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood of doc of dreams of Dr. T Traeger, no, the only Traeger on company records, one Richard Traeger is an executive from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned via security improved to in include analytical biometrics. Okay, Wallrider. Yeah, Project Wallrider. So, I don't know the story of this game. I know a little bits from what I remember playing like the first hour of this game, 
which I think this is like very centered around dreams or something like that. I don't, I don't know. We'll find out as we continue on with the game. This is where I need to, yep. Yep, I remember this part because you have to hide because a guy's about to break into the room. I remember little bits and bits. How you doing? He's breathing heavy now, but it's gonna get worse later on. Yeah, that's blocked, and I have to go through here. Ah, oh, this probably just here. Yeah, that one usually gets me. That one is a really good jump scare. The headless bodies. And then the shells of severed heads, because... Why not? I guess that's one form of decoration. They killed us? Yeah. They got out. The variants. You can't fight them. You have to hide. I feel like you probably could fight you them, but that's the thing. From security control. Oh wait, yeah, I forgot there's these read. I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mal Mass Asylum shut down mid scandal and government secrecy in 1971, reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009, under guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception was cut off abruptly a mile out, more like a jammer of a lost signal. The Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has to be big. It might finally be the story that breaks the bastard. I'm side bodies over blood, burn marks, heads lined up like balls behind a bar, dead Murkoff scientists hung from the ceiling, their badges say Murkoff Advanced Research Systems. Murkoff's longtime MO has been to profit off the exploitation of supposed charity. <laughs> The third world and bankroll never billion. How did Murkoff think they'd make money off a of building full of crazy people? There's some kind of tactical cop pinned like a pig on a spit. Tells me to get out of here. And then dies. Would have been a good thing to hear when I could still lead the way I came. I feel like you still probably could. You have to get the fuck out of this terrible place. Yep. Listen to the man and let's go. Oh boy, bathrooms in horror games are always... Yep, there's a severed hand in the toilet. Man, AC McDonald's bathrooms are bad. Clyde Perry. Other Bronxiusk. I don't know how to say his name. This is... Locked. I remember this part. This part I do remember. Because this is where we first encounter Chris, the guy I was talking about before. Little pig. <laughs> this is Chris. <laughs> Big man yeets you to a whole nother place. And who are you? I don't remember much about the priest, this priest guy. I don't think I really learned much about him. But like I said before, I only played I an hour and 30 see. minutes. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. A calling, he says. And like that's gonna go out well. Yeah, this door's not gonna open. Notes, documents. Oh god, how much do I need to read? On this area. 
Affidavits haven't been made before the board directors by Murkoff. Security. Okay, this doesn't really have anything interesting on it. Oh boy. Yeah, it's never guy did go down. Well, then he's gone. What could be in door number one? An entire dead body. As I get another note. I'm ready beat all to hell. Picking broken glass on my scalp. Couple of cracked ribs, nearly killed by a deformed giant. Looks like somebody tried to. <laughs> Fuck star. Is that what cheese grater? <laughs> okay, that's a bit much. He throws me for a wall, knocks me unconscious. Notification. My bad. I wake up and some doughy old man with a face like an alcoholic kitty filter in a homemade priest outfit calls me his apostle. Not a job I asked for. Very words scrawled in blood everywhere. I'm getting an ugly feeling in my gut that the priest is writing them and for my benefit. The meat locker. My eyes are really bugging me today. But I should be fine to do the recordings. Oh, yes. Always get the batteries. I was holding it, but okay. Need a key card. Where do I get a key card? This room that one guy ran to. Why should we have to pay for it? Why do we have to die? Walker will kill us just for being sick. We're some people. We didn't choose this. Walker, he's talking about Chris, the big giant guy we saw who threw us out the window. I remember his name because when I played the one hour 30 minutes of the game, I stopped at where uh, we were in the sewers with him. As I just got this. Okay, I'll read this one because it's about Project Wall Rider. I think this project has very big story implications. Before poor Penny no media action is occurred on a part of Murkoff Corp, the profit potential of Project Wall, Wall, Wall Rider remains staggeringly high. The four fatalities contain enough ambiguous data to make any litigation if evidence is correctly managed impossible. Project Wall, Wall Rider remains a dangerous initiative. There will almost certainly be more further casualties. As with the others, however, family and government interest in the patients is so low as to make any chance of legal actions van vanishingly unlikely. Violence among patients is increasing as the morphogenic ancient therapy gets closer to producing working models, but a combination of physical and chemical restraints has proved sufficiently effective to assure continued control and profit. Respectfully, Helen Granat, Rogoff Legal Mitigation Department. Yeah. I think uh, Wall Project Wall Rider has is like very big in this uh, game. I need to find a key card. Wait, where do I get a key card? Or is it over here, at, like the front desk? I just straight up missed it. Cards would usually be on like a personnel body or desk, so. Let's find that key card. I thought I saw that move for a second there. And then I'm going crazy as well, apparently. Uh, yeah, I think the key card's over here. Thank you for 
and letting us have a better look at you. Then there's these guys as well. They're just watching a uh, TV with nothing on. But clearly, they were experimented on. Very much so. I mean... Jeez. Uh, nope. There we go. Trying to remember what it was crouch. I thought it was C for a second there, like I'm playing R6. Okay, I think that's the key card over here. I'm starting to get pins and needles in my hand. Why does that have to happen when you're playing a game? Pick a key card. For security control. Collected objects are updating your reporter's notebook. I know what I need to use this for, so let me go all the way back there. But if I remember, there's about to be a jump scare from this guy. Ah! Yep. I remember that much. Do I have any notes? Yeah. A crowd of broken men watching a dead channel below like patients. They decide whatever happened here, but nobody's home. Yeah, this looks like one of the worst kind of what's it what's it called? That one surgical thing. Lobotomy. I'm trying to remember what it was called. Now that we have the key card, we can use it to open the <coughs> security door that's over here. Dead, you're dead. Okay, unlock the main doors. Cause it because that's exactly what's gonna happen. I'm gonna unlock the main doors and just leave. Yeah, like that actually happens. Yep, and you see him over there on the right. The priest guy. If I remember, Chris appears. Yep. Hide in the locker, don't try to fight. I mean, I would try and fight the regular guys, but Chris, now him, uh, yeah, you're gonna have to run from. Him. Run and hide when it comes to Chris. Cause look at this man. I mean, he did throw us through a wall. Like an angry Kool Aid man. Oh, yeah. Uh, normally it's the music cues that kind of help tell me how to do this. Okay, yeah, that went to our room before, went to those ones. If I remember, we have to go to the basement trying to like, turn the power back on. And uh, this is where the first actual stealth part in the game happens, where I'm going to be completely ass at. I am just completely off what stealth. This is gonna be bad. Who's there? Okay, if I remember, there's three things we can do. Pump over there, there, and something over that way. Since we turn this on, we're about to have an enemy come for us, so the locker's over there. Okay. 
No need to waste battery just yet. We only have four. And I'd rather keep the spare batteries I have. As you go right here, this guy breaking through that one door. Yep, you saw like a bit of his bat he has. Or is that a table leg? It'd be either one. Probably more likely a table leg. I mean, where would someone get a bat in this place? Seriously. God dang it. Like I said before guys, I am bad at stealth, so I'm just straight up making a run for it now, because... From what little bits I do remember... Here's him, as there is some vehicle outside, living up. How was I able to escape that? I did not know he'd be right there on the right. I am either the luckiest person at the moment or the stupidest. That is not even a word. <laughs> I don't need to reload it, but I usually wait till it gets a bit more lower on the red before I reload. And not reload, change out the batteries. Yeah, I'll go ahead and change the batteries now while I'm at it. think this is the way to go, I think. This little... Over here. Yep. Where is that? Yep. Locker. Do that. He's gonna come. Then there's one more pump. Then I have to press a button. And then I can just skedaddle, basically. Whew.
Unless they see actually hide in there, I don't think they actually know where your specific location is. Let's get a random notification. Wait a bit, because if I go out there now, he's gonna be like right there. And it's gonna be impossible to get like through him. Or I could try and make a run for it, but that's risky. This is mo this is a stealth-oriented game, so... <sighs> stealth is key, but I'm not good at stealth. No peace on me, which means I need to make a run for it. God dang it. This just hang towards the beginning place, but over here I can get rid of him. that's left is one more pump, do that one, a button, and then I'm out. Oh, I completely missed this. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this, uh, Video, which if you do not know, this was an edit down a video of one of my streams that I played on my Twitch channel. If you guys want to watch the full uh, stream itself, you guys can head down to my Twitch channel, which will be in the description down below. Or you can watch the videos on here on YouTube for a few more edit down shorter versions of said streams. I am on hiatus from Twitch at the moment due to network issues, but I do hope you guys will enjoy I for one. We'll see you guys then. And follow if you're going to do the Twitch and subscribe on YouTube, of course. I hope you guys had a fun time with the video. See you guys in the next one. Stay awesome.